Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the boss repairs and I'll be explaining the DC to DC box um, controller and converter, sorry. So I got a, a, a message on, on the channel. Hi sir, please can you help me DC to DC box converter how it works. So I want to explain this DC to DC box con converter and then I can tell you the possible scenarios where you will be using this little device. So I ordered one here in South Africa, it's 38 rand 75 cents. I'm taking one out. So that is how it looks. I'm just gonna zoom into it, let's see. So, as you can see here, uh, from the input circuit, we have the you have the voltage, you have the voltage in, and the voltage minus, and this is the input circuit. You can see the main capacitor there which is 220 50 volt and then you have the converter IC which is LM2596S that one is the one doing all the switching work and then you have the adjuster of the output voltage then you have the output capacitors which are 220 35 volts so basically what this does is a step down from a higher DC voltage to a lower DC voltage and there's also a boost converter which can step up the voltage from a lower DC voltage to a higher DC voltage so I got this, this is a step down one and I got this online for I got it for 38 rounds 75 cents you see DC to DC step down power module I, I did order the step up but I didn't get it yet the step up module but I didn't get it here the underside the other part for the of the board you only have this adjustable resistor here this one that determines the output so what I will be doing is I will connect some power to the input of this DC to DC and then explain it through the output with my multimeter so you can better understand what is going on on this DC to DC buck controller so what 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 the step down does is it helps you in so many circuits especially when i'm working with tvs and i have missing voltages if i trace down the root the main capacitor of that voltage which is missing i can use a step this step down converter i take a higher volt and then i st i step down especially like 3.3 .3 volts if you have a missing 3.3 .3 volt rail or a missing 5.1 volt rail so i will just show you right now in a practical so just stay tuned i'll show you right now okay friends so what i've done here is i've connected the dc to dc box to the my power supply and my power supply is i'm sorry for that numbers it's supposed to be 12 volts 12.10 volts and I put in one amp and when I give out the power supply power and then I check it with my multimeter the output here is the output then I should get I should get a 12 volt which is adjustable meaning I can play with the voltage so the amount of voltage that I want to use so I will just quickly show you now I'll just quickly show you my multimeter. Place the DC volts. You can see there. My multimeter is. The sunlight is. Okay, so I'll just quickly measure the voltage and the output. Output minus and output plus. You can see that I have 11.79 volts. So I will just quickly I will hold it there, and then I will sorry, 
I hold the two props there and we just put the multimeter here so you can easily see while I'm adjusting so this little blue guy I will just go this little blue adjustable resistor here I will just go on it and I'll adjust the voltage and you will see on the on the multimeter as the voltage changes you see it's going 7.87 11.77 7.11.76 if I keep going, I will end up in a 10 volts. That's 11.5352. I'm turning because it has adjustable. It has adjustable um um, um a key there on the top of that resistor. So you get a key which you use a little flat screwdriver. So you can see now. I'm on 1.257 volts. If I start going up, I'm on 2 volts. If I go, I'm on 2.5, 2.7, 3 volts. 3.2 volts, 3.3 volts. So if I'm shutting a 3.3 volts, for example, on a TV, if I get a, a capacitor with a 12 volts, I can connect the two input pins. That's a positive and negative input by that capacitor, get the 12 volts, then I can use a step down to bring the volt to 3.3 where it is missing if I don't have the, 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 the advanced knowledge to restore the 3.3 volts on the, on the board. So this step down, this step down, DC to DC step down um, converters, they are very important for a technician who is especially a beginner who doesn't know more um, who is not yet advanced in troubleshooting and is still is still learning, uh, but he can still get stuff right. He can fix a lot of stuff. So these things are made to help the technician, especially when you understand that there's missing voltages and you have something that you can use to provide the volt. It doesn't matter whatever appliances you're working on. If you have a missing voltage, a DC to DC step down converter can be used to bypass the problem and give voltage where it is necessary. So I hope that that um, subscriber who asked about the DC to DC bug controller, I hope this video that I use with the experiment of my power supply, I hope it, ex it explains everything that it needs to understand about the DC to DC step down controller. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. God bless you. Bye bye.